Personal terms agreed. Arsenal moved for £51 million monster who's like Ruiz. After weeks of little transfer activity, Arsenal finally announced the signing of highly rated defender Ricardo Calafiori on Monday, much to the delight of gunners everywhere. The former Bologna man looks like he could be one of the next great Italian centre-backs, and while fans are still revelling in his arrival, the North Londoners appear to be moving on to a plethora of other targets. Big-name strikers such as Victor Osimhen and Victor Gjokers have been heavily linked with a move to the club, while other reports suggest that a move for Euro 2024 winner Fabian Ruiz is right around the corner. However, based on recent reports, it appears that Adu Gaspar and company have reached an agreement on personal terms for a midfielder who has been compared to Ruiz in the past. According to a recent report from French outlet Sports Zone, Arsenal have come to a contractual agreement on personal terms with Real Sociedad star Mikel Marino. The report claims that the Spaniard has agreed to a four-year deal with the Gunners and that the next step is for the two clubs to come to an agreement as well. The update does not mention how much the £51,000 per week ace may cost the North Londoners, but a separate report last week revealed that he could be sold for about £25 million. It's undoubtedly still a lot of money, but within the context of modern football, landing Marino for that much seems like a steal, and the fact he's won comparisons to Ruiz in the past is a great bonus. So, there are a few similarities between the Marino and Ruiz, some of which are fairly obvious and straightforward, while others are a little more complex. We'll first look at a comparison stemming from the latter. It stems from Breath, which compared every player at Euro 2024 to those in a similar position, created a list of the 10 most comparable players for each one, and concluded that the PSG star was the fourth most similar midfielder to the Sociedad ace at the tournament. They came to this conclusion by examining the pair's underlying numbers and measuring how closely they ranked in a number of key metrics, including, but not limited to, shots on target, expected assisted goals, passes into the penalty area, completed short passes, passes blocked, and dribblers tackled, all per 90. Now that that similarity has been cleared up let's examine some of the other, far more straightforward facts that make comparing these two players so easy. Firstly, the pair are both fully-fledged Spanish internationals now, with the former Napoli star winning 29 senior caps thus far in the Sociedad, Monster, as dubbed by data analyst Ben Madison, trailing by one, with 28. Moreover, they both played a part in La Roja's surprise triumph at the Euros this year, with the Arsenal target's extra-time winner against Germany in the quarter-finals a particular highlight. Next, both players are older than the typical players the Gunners have targeted in recent years, with both men coming in at 28 years old. This suggests Arteta wants to add some more experience to his side for the upcoming campaign. Lastly, both stars play in essentially the same position, with the PSG ace making 22 starts in central midfield last season to his compatriots 38 for the Basque side. Ultimately, signing Marino for potentially just £25 million would be a steal, and the fact he can be compared to Ruiz so easily is just an added bonus. Therefore, Arsenal should be doing what they can to bring the Spaniard to the Emirates this summer, as his experience and quality would be a brilliant addition. Arsenal have lost goal machine Cheeto Obi Martin to Manchester United. Arsenal have been left, disappointed, and counting the potential cost of losing teenage goal machine Cheeto Obi Martin to Manchester United. The 16-year-old shot to prominence last season on the back of his extraordinary goal-scoring exploits for the Gunners' youth sides. Obi Martin registered an astonishing 32 goals in 18 matches for the under-18s, including a preposterous 10 in a single game against Liverpool. With a new contract to be agreed, Arsenal believed they had put in enough groundwork, offered a significant financial incentive and mapped out a path into the first that would be enough to tempt Obi Martin into committing his future to the North London club. Mikel Arteta spoke personally with the Denmark Youth International in an attempt to bolster Arsenal's sales pitch, but ultimately Obi Martin had his head turned amid interest from United and Bayern Munich. In addition to a salary understood to be around £15,000 a week, Arsenal indicated Obi Martin would spend the majority of the coming season with the under-18s and represent the under-21s when the schedule allowed, while opportunities to train alongside the club's first-team superstars would arise naturally. According to the Daily Mail, Obi Martin's camp wanted their player to be parachuted straight into the U21s but the dealbreaker was money. United are reported to have doubled the wages that were on offer at Arsenal although the claim that his move was solely financially motivated have been rejected. 
Obi Martin and his representatives are said to have harbored significant doubts about the chances of breaking into the first team at Arsenal given the number of young players who have been frustrated by a lack of opportunities under Arteta. Already this summer the highly rated Amaria Cozier Dewberry has left for Brighton while Reuel Walters, left on the bench for last season's Champions League dead rubber against PSV Eindhoven, has joined Luton Town. Hale End Academy graduates Emile Smith Rowe, Reese Nelson and Eddie Nketiah all appear destined to be sold, meanwhile, having at one point or another been first-team regulars. Obi Martin is understood to have now agreed the formalities of his move to United and had already penned a goodbye message to Arsenal earlier this week. I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to everybody at Arsenal for the last four years, he wrote on Instagram. The experiences and growth I've achieved here have been truly invaluable. A special thanks to the coaches, staff and teammates at Hale End.